Did you know that in GTA 5 Online there are over 740 vehicles? But over a hundred of those we still can't own. So here are 15 plus vehicles that I think we should be able to own in GTA 5 Online. To start, the taco van is fairly basic, but imagine being able to customize it or change it to other food types. Or if Rockstar was feeling really quirky, add a rocket to it. The next vehicle I want to mention is a bit more nitpicky because technically we can already own it in the game. And it's the blimp, but more specifically, the atomic blimp. Not only is this my favorite company in the game, it's also iconic to the city skyline and to this viral speedrunning strat. David. The tour bus feels like it should be in Arena Wars Unlock, but no, it just doesn't exist in the game. And sure, the rental shuttle bus exists, but it's just not the same. Well, it is, but it doesn't come with a topless version. I mean, look at it. <clears throat> that, was, that was a little inappropriate, I apologize. With the recent addition of vehicles like the Gauntlet Interceptor, the Stainier LA Cruiser, and Unmarked Cruiser, it's honestly disappointing they haven't made something like the Security Dilettante available. I mean, no one would drive it, but I want it. I mean, who wouldn't want to chase down bad guys ripping along at a top speed of 88.5 miles per hour? Another police vehicle that would be nice to add to our garages is the Police Transport. I mean, it's so slow and lacks any protection, but honestly, why can't we own it? Why can't we own all police vehicles? Especially the police or FIB Buffalo. Like, Rockstar could charge us four to six million for something like this. And sure, people would be pissed, but we would buy it, right? So just add it to the game, Rockstar. But give me a discount code, because I give you the idea. The next vehicle I would want to own, which would really just be a showpiece in my hangar, is the Skylift. Because it likely wouldn't be able to pick up cars at the Cargo Bob, and it's the second slowest helicopter in the game only faster than the aforementioned cargo bob, but it could be cool to fly around. Now I want you to close your eyes. Imagine, it's December 2024, the yearly winter DLC is among us, and along with the snowy map, Rockstar releases these bad babies. You see? You can, you, you can open your eyes now. THESE BAD BABIES! All nine exclusive snowy vehicles straight from North Yankton. The Asia, Burrito, Emperor, Fieldmaster, Mesa, Saddler, Rancher XL, and two more police cars. The Police Rancher and the Police Road Cruiser, which is the only vehicle to not have a non-snowy variant. So it would be a new car entirely. Now that's a completely free, zero effort DLC for winter that I think people would be somewhat happy with. Okay, now I may be the only person wanting a utility truck, but all three of these would be great for roleplay, filmmaking, or just to have. And don't go saying they don't have any customization, because the cargo version has many different options for what to haul with it. Added bonus, the cherry picker version is one of only two drivable cranes in game, the other being locked to a story mission. Now I thought I mentioned them all, but I forgot one police vehicle we should be able to own, and I think you'll agree with this one. The police bike would likely be severely overpriced, and probably cost about the same as the Mark II. But hey, it would finally complete our police collection. Luckily, the Chop Shop DLC finally added the ability to own and operate a tow truck. Kind of. You can only haul specific vehicles at specific times in specific locations. And I understand why. Because back in the day, you could hook up numerous tow trucks to each other and completely break the game. But why can't we just drive the small tow truck around the map and tow other people's cars? Just take away its ability to link to other tow trucks, or don't, I don't care. Also, the small tow truck is just better looking in my opinion. Now the next one might just be a technicality because technically we can own this in game, but the ramp car we got is not the same as the ramp car in its missions. Just give us the option to put a spoiler on it. It's harmless and it looks amazing. Now for my top three, and I'm sure no one will agree with me here, but I want to own the pony and work versions of the burrito. I know they're just boring vans, but I specifically want the Atomic Burrito van for my Atomic Racing Garage. Plus, with all the different liveries and roof options, this vehicle has so much potential as an ownable and customizable vehicle. Charge just like $700,000 and I'd buy at least one in about 3 months when it's discounted for 30 or 40% off. Now this vehicle won't be winning any races, unless you're up against the Dozer or Dump, and it's the Forklift. You're likely asking me, Buck, why would you ever want to own a forklift? It can pick up cars falls over really easily, and isn't protected from anything. 
However, it's just a fun little thing to rip around with, and you can even joust your friends with it to see who can knock each other over the most. Now, I hope this isn't disappointing to most of you, but the top vehicle I want to own in GTA Online is the Dock Tug. And it seems like a poor choice for this list, but hear me out. A Dock Tug Custom would make it like the Phantom Custom and Hauler Custom, an option for the MOC. Make it tank over 60 homing missiles and make it a little bit faster. It looks ridiculous towing massive trailers and it's just kind of quirky in that way. Which is my favorite type of vehicle, if I didn't make it obvious with that list. Which, looking back, all of those vehicles kind of suck and wouldn't add anything to online, but I want them! But I also want you to check out this video of 10 vehicles that no one tells you you need in GTA 5 Online. What if I told you the go-kart's not on that list? Would you believe me? Only way to find out. Click it.